Hello everyone, welcome back to ETS2. Let me fix the map. Had some issues with Shadow Play not recording and I hit the wrong button right away. Okay, gotta find the there we go. So we're back in ETS2, so I had to restart the game guys. And have it get a new profile. The um uh game is crashing. I'm going to Cavs. The game is crashing, so I had to restart it and uh, start a new profile. So we're back in the in, in the MAM, which is the latest truck that would come out by MAM for ETS2. We got 194 miles to go, so let's go on the road. And I hit it again. I'm just now waking up, guys. Sorry about that. Ah, right, come on. Ah, I, I keep hitting. There we go. Get all that off screen. All right, let's get out of here. So we got some large tubes that we're hauling tonight. And I do apologize for hitting the wrong button. I'm just now getting woke up and getting started here this morning. So happy New Year to everybody. And I wanted to say, like I said before, I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel in 2021. Uh, uh, the channel is growing. And I do appreciate everyone that's subscribing and watching and uh it helps me it helps it grow. It helps it uh me know where I, where I wanna go uh, for twenty twenty two and what content I wanna see. Come over here. Um probably not gonna be no big shooters. Um I tried to do some big shooters over here and they just did not work. Um, no one played them, so and, and no one watched it. Uh, I tried to get together with some guys that did some multiplayer on uh Far Cry, and it just did not work out. So, so probably won't be doing none of that. I know that we will be doing ETS two and ATS and LSPD Far. Um, unaware of anything else right now that we're gonna do. Maybe we can find something else. But I do apologize from the beginning. Like I said, I just woke up and I'm, I'm hitting the wrong button first thing on the keyboard to close everything. So. That's always great. Um, I had to start a new profile, like I said, because for some reason it was crashing. It was an older profile. Sometimes that happens with these updates. You get these updates, these games, and older profiles will crash because you're using mods and stuff like that so it was just better to start a new one and hope we don't have that problem now we got 194 miles to go here Also, I did find out a way to get the siren to work in uh, B and G, and Beam and G. So we're gonna be doing some um, some more Beam and Beam and G because I know that uh, the last video I done that uh, it was really light and people want to y'all want to see more. So we're gonna do more. Um, the game has been updated. There's been some uh, graphic update. There's been a new police car has been added. One police car has been reworked. A couple of civilian cars has been added. So. I want to check all that out too. So that's something else we're going to be doing. I have some mod pro, uh, some mod reviews I'm going to do over on, on ATS. For you new guys to the channel that maybe has not seen some of the mods and stuff for ATS. It's always a good place to start. Most of my mods I get from the Sting Workshop. For ATS. Get 
I need to see if we gotta get on the ferry. I'm not sure or on the train one or if this is a straight shot. I'll look at that in just a minute here. We'll go ahead and get a thumbnail here in just a minute too. Alright, so first we'll go ahead and pull this up here. I want to look and see exactly if it's a straight shot. It is a straight shot, so we we got a straight shot up there. We don't have to get on the ferry, we don't have to do none of that. So next we're going to we'll have to go ahead and get a thumbnail. We're going to need a thumbnail. Move this over like this. A lot of a lot of a lot of YouTubers cut this out, but you know I, I've had a lot of comments that they like to see this. They like to see uh, the thumbnails and stuff being done. So um, the pictures being taken and stuff like that, and and how it's done and stuff like that. So I leave it in. I mean I, I don't edit it out. Uh, a lot of the YouTubers they edit out, and you know that's the way they want to do it. That's great, but. I don't edit it out because a lot of you guys shall like it, so I'll leave it in. There we go. I did change the color of the truck this time. Went with a little bit different color. I've had a lot of comments though about, you know, uh, leaving it in. They, they like to see the, uh, the the photos being taken in the game because ATS and ETS2 has one of the best photo systems out there. I have not seen another game out there that has a, such as good a photo system as what these two games have got. They, they've got one of the best that I've seen. When it takes the when it goes to taking photos and where you can make thumbnails and stuff like that, it's it's probably one of the best out there. We may be getting some daylight for long. And also, guys, if you're new um, to the channel and uh, you like ATS and ETS too, uh, don't forget to join our my Facebook groups. I have a lot of Facebook groups out there right now. Okay. These arms are good. I would think this would be wrong, wouldn't you? I think they're crossing the wrong way. They're going down the wrong way. That's what it looks like to me. It should turn the other way across where you're pulling. Going across the track. It looks kind of... That's something that they need to fix. Never have seen that to today. Maybe that's why they do them over there. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe they do that. There are the cross arms like that over there in, in other countries. That's a beautiful drive. and throw the crew control on for a minute so I can pull up the map 
Yeah, we still got 156, 157 miles to go. So we still got a ways to go. Like I said, guys, I don't know a lot about a lot about these European trucks, but I had to say I like this truck. This truck is is simple. I mean, I like the the DF the, the, the excuse me, like I can't talk. Uh, the DF the DAF the new one that just come out uh, with the digital dash and everything. But this truck here is more simple. It's uh, the dash is all simple. It's just it's just a nice little truck. Can't tell this morning for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Ready to turn right. Don't turn the truck over. Turn right up here. Turn right. These little curvy roads up in here. And I'm going to be uploading this video also to my first and second channel. I have a second channel that I, I was using it at one time for live streaming and because I use Shadowplay for my recording and at that time Shadowplay would let you record and stream at the same time so I was going to uh, stream on Twitch and record it and put it on, on the second channel for you guys um, that don't want to watch Twitch so you can go over there and watch it over there but they changed it to where now you can't do that. You can only do one at a time. So I haven't uploaded over there for a long time on that second channel. So I'm going to upload over there too. I'm going to start back uploading some videos over there on the first and second channel. Just to kind of get some more volume over there. And when I start doing some more streaming, I'm going to start trying to, trying to stream over there on the second channel. And now on the first channel. I mostly do my streams on Twitch, but sometimes I do do them on uh, Facebook and YouTube, so. I don't know why they changed it. I really like that feature to where you can do both, but you can't do both now. Like you uh, used to, uh, it, it was a really good feature, and I enjoyed that. But and it's on it's on recorded software that I have too. So oh, they got it for speed. I keep turning. Huh. I'm trying to be as careful with these curves. These trucks I've noticed are really top heavy. Also, guys, I wanted to do some runs with the uh, new um, owner operator um, dumper trailers that come out of SCS with, with the last update, but I don't know. I mean, there's no loads over on ATS for it, so I don't know what's going on with that. I'm, and maybe I'm running some cargo packs. I'm going to turn them off and just see if maybe that's what's causing that issue. Maybe it's overriding the um, those loads. That's why I'm not seeing them. So you guys can see the new dumpers. I'm going to do it around over here with a dumper. Uh, you can also get them over here, the owner operated dumper trailers. Everything that we've seen, uh, the SCS got a lot they're working on this year uh, for 2022. There's a lot of stuff that they're working on, a lot of improvements they're going to make. Uh, there's talks about of a graphic improvement. Um, unsure if that's going to be a new engine. They're going to change engines. I know they did do a lighting improvement this year to both games, and uh, there, there's more. I mean, there's more they want to do. What's 
it's awesome to see the support that uh, they're giving us for these games. They're aware of the age. They know the game. The games are aging, and you know they they want to address that issue. Pull up the map. I need this. Uh, like it says, it's 50. Try to stay at 50 here. Yes, 50 miles out. We've got 100 miles. We're about 100 miles out. So I will be doing a video, like I said, uh, on Beam and G. Uh, the new police car and uh, the update and stuff for that. I just haven't had, haven't got to it yet. I'm working on other stuff. I'm always trying to improve LSP I I'm I'm aware of the videos having problems. I'm looking into that. I know it's got some lag going on on the LSP Far videos, and it only does it on that, as you can see. So it's something to do with GTA, and I don't, it's the late the last update. It's been doing that, so I'm looking into that too to see what's causing that, what's going on, why it's doing it. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it. Uh, as you can see, it's not doing it here, so I can say that it's only GTA that's causing, or something in LS Pretty Far is causing it. One, it's making it lag. So I'm gonna be looking into that because it was not doing that in videos before. So. It will be fixed. Oh, we just kind of sit back now being quiet looking at, looking at the drive I can say this uh, this game and the ATS both are beautiful games you can get lost in this just driving just looking at the looking at the sights looking at everything that all the words they put in to these games and just get lost and just enjoy and the drive continue straight out. we, we got to get over straight on. That's right. And I also got I get questions about modded trucks. I'm gonna be doing some mod showcases and reviews over on ATS. Um, I don't run modded trucks much. Uh, I'm gonna do it um, it's not gonna be an everyday thing, it's not gonna be Something that happens a lot. It's gonna be something we're gonna do it once in a while. Um, I have nothing against modded trucks. I've said this in the past. These modders, they do a great job. All these modders, they make content for this game that is well needed, you know, this and for ATS. Uh, but the problem is that when it's just updates these games pretty, pretty frequently, they, they get updated a lot. With new versions, um, you know we're on version 1.4.1 1. 1.4.3 right now. Excuse me, I can't talk for some reason. Um, of both of the uh, ATS and ETS too. Well, what does that mean? That means every time this game, these games update, modded trucks don't work. You have to wait for them to be updated. So you guys are new that don't really, that don't understand a lot of that stuff, I, I want to explain it to you. Uh, modded trucks don't work when these games update and if you play much uh, if you play the game a lot you know it costs a lot of money to buy these trucks in, in ATS 
some of these modded trucks, uh, they could be a hundred, a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred and something thousand. Like the Freightliner Cascadia, the Freightliner Classic that I use, um, it's a great truck. It's a great mod, and I enjoy using it. And it's over a hundred thousand dollars every time you buy one. Well, it takes a lot unless you cheat, and I do that. I, and I do use a cheat mod sometimes because I. Uh, record for you guys and stream and all that and it takes a but it takes a long time to get a hundred thousand dollars for trucks in this game so that's why i mostly use scs as trucks because they don't have to update unless they're unless scs just updates the truck itself you are you won't have no problem with a with that truck when the game updates it, it's gonna work now if you're using a modded engine you may have an issue, you know, with using a modded engine. Um, but most of the time, that only happens when they do sound updates to the game, and then sound files are changed, and, you know, stuff like that happens, you know. Then you'll have an engine pack that won't work no more. But other than that, most of the time, these SCS, the, the, the default trucks, as we call them, they work. And... Yeah, they're about the same amount of money, but you could use them a lot longer than you will a mod truck. Like I said, I have no use, nothing against modders. Uh, they, Viper has an awesome truck. John Ruder, he makes great mods. I've used them, and they're all great. And, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna use them, but I don't, it's not gonna be something that's gonna happen all the time. That, that's just something. And the fact too that I use so many mods at LSPFR that. Because that mod is for everything. Everything is modded. You have to have everything modded to do that. So, but anyways, I mean, I hope everyone is enjoying the video. I, and I know I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit random today, but you know, I wanted to address a few little issues here and there, and uh, about some things that's been said on the channel and some stuff for this year. Um, as of right now, I don't know if anything new is coming out. I'm gonna be looking around with some different stuff to play. I have been I have been looking at some new stuff. Um, I don't if if it doesn't bring viewers, I don't play it. But one time, uh, these games bring they bring viewers, and that's why I play them over here. But yes, guys, if any of you are new, and uh, you're new to the games, ETS2 and ATS, hold on a minute, that was my alarm, alright, sorry about that. But if you're new to the games, um, ETS2 and ATS, um, and you want to get some group uh, knowledge and some things, you want to learn some things, you do play the games, um, join the groups. If not, you know, I have a public group out there. Uh, there's, anyone can join the public group. People that don't play, I, I don't mind if they join, you know, that you know, so they can learn about the game and maybe they, maybe they get it, maybe they want to get into it and, and learn more about it. If I'm available, I'll always jump in there and talk to you about it. And I want to try to get a combo together with some guys when, uh, when I can when get a chance. I want to set one up. We could do a combo. I'd love to do a combo over here. In ETS 2. And ATS. So, you know, so it's... it's we got more stuff that I, want, that I want to do. I want to look into. Going to try to... Maybe I'll try to stream it. Yeah. Um, We're, we're about there. We have 27 miles to go. Ooh, we're getting low on fuel, too. We should have enough to get there, though.
it looks so good. I know I've already said that, but it is true. It looks very good. But yeah, guys, I mean, for anyone who wants to know that information about the mod, you know, modded trucks, stuff like that, I have tons, like I said, I have Facebook groups that I'm running uh, for ATS and ATS2, and anyone, uh, anyone that don't play, you can join the public group for ATS, and they'll we'll let you know. I don't have a public group for ATS2 yet, um, but there is a public group for ATS, and they'll let you know anything you want to know. Um, I've got some great guys over there that helps me run it, um, so... You're more than welcome to come out and join. Love to have you. And when I do get where I can stream more, I will be posting it on my website. Um, I'm gonna. I'm trying to get to get it set up where I can do it. Because I want to do more streaming in 2022. That's something that I am looking at trying to get more into. I was doing it a little. Uh, but I was having some issues. So I stopped. Uh, but I think I can get back into it now. And I think everything would work okay. Um, I, at the time when I was doing it more. I had not so good internet. I have a lot, a lot better internet now. And I think it would be a lot better now. A lot better to, um, to stream with. Don't hit that car. Well, like we ran into the rain. Also, too, guys, another thing about these games, I've had questions about that, too. Now, SCS follows the uh, laws for the states um, in these games. Something that, th that they're really big on is following the laws of these states. Um, and countries, you know, of these games. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is, like, trailers, um, stuff like that. I've had some questions from... You know, about trailers and stuff, uh, um, like, in California, you cannot use a 53-foot trailer. Because the law in California says you're not allowed to have a 53-foot trailer. So in the game, you can't have one. It was a nice ride. Now, make sure you come back and visit me, alright? Alright, we're here. Where they want it? Right over there. Let's see what we can do here. Get to see the truck now. It's got the daylight enough where you can actually see the truck. These trucks drive a lot different from ATS trucks. Should have had them lights on. I 
It takes like a minute to get it in there. It, 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 it turns a lot different. One thing too with these trailers is as you can see the wheels on that trailer is turning too. And these trucks have a a just a short wheelbase that they're harder to, to turn. See how the back wheel is turning? Yeah, it'd take us a minute, but that's okay. No big deal. We're not gonna skip it. We're gonna, we're gonna put it in there. Yeah, see, these trucks, they turn so different from ATS trucks. These short wheelbases and stuff on them, that makes a big difference in turning. There we go. We got it now. Can we can we bump the dock back here? No, there's a window back here. We can't bump the dock. So we drove excellent. We drove 195 miles. It took us six hours and 37 minutes to get here. We consume 100, 100.1.81 gallons of fuel. So we'll go ahead and uh, see what else we can pick up from here. Be more. We can do some logs, but that's not very far. Well, I guess we're gonna take that load. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video of ETS2. Want to get back in here and do another video? Like I said, I had to restart the profile, which is okay because it needed to be restarted. I had to, it was a long time. I had, had it for a long time, and sometimes you have to restart them anyways, even using uh, SES trucks. But I want to say thank you very much for watching the channel. Everybody's been subscribing. I really do appreciate it. it helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and you do like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. It notifies you anytime any videos come out. And we're going to be trying to do a lot more this year for 2022. And uh, so thank you and uh, have a good day.